It is Friday night once again, which means more Minecraft cursed images. This is something that I've spent a lot of time, I spent the entire day programming this to work. And as you know, there's no such thing as a diagonal fence, but now there is. See that? <laughs> Alright, so just so you know, there's no such thing as a diagonal fence. Once you place a fence on this slab, this is what happens, but this is clearly wrong. You shouldn't have a fence like this, that doesn't make any sense, it wouldn't be supported. And, it works on this side too. So now we can cordon off one side, like so, and it looks so much nicer. Wish we had fences like this. This is a cursed image, it's not meant to look nice, okay? Let's just keep going. Oh. I made it work that way too. I'm not stupid, that wasn't a mistake. I decided that, you know, I tried to catch you guys off guard, I failed. Alright, let's keep going. I've got an entire section to do. So now let's just enclose the entire area. This is going to take a while and I just want to show off, okay? This is why I'm doing this. I want to show off the fact that I made this so easy to build with that it's effortless. Building an entire working perimeter of fences. So this is the entire project. This took a long time to, to perfect, okay? So the reason why, okay, it's all barriers. But the reason why it took so long is that you know, it has to look like it's connecting, and I still struggled with that. Nevertheless, from afar, it definitely looks convincing, and I had to, you know, make sure I've covered every single angle and every single fence type. Not the fence types like dark oak, I've only done it with oak, but uh, I wanted to make sure I had this side covered, this side covered, um, this side covered, the up and down one, uh, and I guess, all the angles, so north, south, east, and west. And if I jump into spectator mode, you can actually not even tell that I'm using armor stand arms, and this is actually a torch. You're looking at a torch right now, but it's been blown up. It's sized up. Now, I did say I didn't want to use custom block models, and I still haven't. I've just increased the scaling of the torch, and this is a torch on a slab, which is still impossible, so get that right. I also spent a long time thinking of a segue into beds, but... I decided, why not? Let's just do it. This is a bed. This is a 50 size bed. Uh, 50 blocks, I guess. And I scaled it up 25 times. So, a bed being two blocks, I've sized it up. This is a very long bed. Now, it doesn't even have any legs here because I took them out. <laughs> now, this is physically impossible. With the amount of weight of this bed, it should be you know, sloping down. But it hasn't collapsed. So, this is a type of bed you can actually sleep in anywhere you want. And it's broken everything. I didn't even realize. Why did it do that? Oh no. Okay, you guys saw the bed. I'm not going back to it. I'm not building this again. <laughs> you can see how weird they look on the ground. But that's only one type of bed I wanted to share with you. I guess the bed is gone now. But if you have any other bed things you want to show me, or get me to make, feel free to leave them in the comments, or tweet me. I don't know. I want to work with beds now. I just decided to play around with them. That's one thing I did. This is another thing I did. This is a mini bed. This is the smallest bed you'll ever see, and you can sleep in it. I'm holding a bed and sleeping in a bed. There we go. You can see it. I'm sleeping on a small bed. And this works because I cut it in half and sewed it together somehow. Can I get a better angle? It looks like I can't. No. That's the best you can do. All right. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content and cursed images. I love this series so much. Thank you all for watching. Take care.